Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. It um, is never ending and always interesting at foster mom Alicia's house. I am exhausted. I think Mama Kenya is still pretty tuckered out. And um, I do have an update. Mama Kenya had five babies. Um, I know that one of the babies is a girl. Baby number two is a girl. She was our sort of light colored tabby. Um, and uh, there's four babies here in the pile. And of course, Mama Kenya having a snack. She has room service delivered to her. Um, so there's only four babies in the pile uh, because kitten number two, as some of you know, was struggling with latching last night. And um, I supplemented with a bottle so that I could get some sleep and so that uh, kitten could get some food in her belly. And um, she was still not latching come this morning. She took to the bottle this morning and I contacted LAPS and updated them with the status of kitten number two. And the game plan was that um, I would uh, monitor baby number two because he was being quote unquote stubborn. Um, and so I was planning on coming home from work and uh, working on his latching skills as well as giving him a bottle. I also wanted to check his weight to see if he gained any weight during the day. Um, I had Janet and Lisa watching the video all day and baby number two was uh, very active in trying to access the milk bar but just was struggling. And um, when I got home I attempted to um, I attempted to bottle feed baby two and um, it wasn't working. So I uh, looked at things a little bit more closely and I examined kitten number two. And unfortunately, kitten number two has a cleft lip. And um, when she was bottle feeding, she was aspirating off the bottle. And um, that's what I noticed, which is what led me to investigate a little bit further. Oh, I didn't mean to block her. I'm sorry. I have to fix that. I didn't mean to block her. I meant to block the loser above her. Oh, no. I'm going to restart my periscope. I don't know how to fix her. I don't want her to leave. <laughs> I blocked the wrong person. I feel awful. I feel so awful. I'm going to end the periscope. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. I'm just waiting to see Julie again. I hope that she comes back. <laughs> Julie, if you're listening, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh no. I'll try and fix it. I feel awful.
I feel awful. I don't know her name. It's like Julie Duran or something. But I have so many people that I can't find her. <laughs> I just feel so awful. Oh yes, play my last scope back. You guys are so smart. I have no brain span right now. Okay, I'm replaying it. Now I'm just waiting for her to talk. <laughs> it's just a short intermission while I retrieve her back. Oh, thank you. I'm going to add her right now. I feel awful. She always watches. Can somebody type that again? It went away in the chat. Oh, I found her. There you go. Thank you. I followed her. Whoops. <laughs> well, at least now when she comes back, I can apologize. <laughs> so, um... Kitten number two was aspirating when I tried to give her the bottle when I got home from work today. And um, so I investigated further and I noticed that she had a cleft lip. And um, that's obviously why she wasn't eating and was struggling latching on. So, um... I called Linnea, Linnea is at LAPS, and um, Linnea has taken baby number two and has um, tube fed her. It was very successful, her tube feeding, and she gained two grams and immediately snuggled up and went to sleep. I described it as you could feel her contentment like oozing out of her body. So um, that doesn't mean that everything will be okay. It just means that um, it's a good sign that she's not aspirating from the tube feeding and that um, she is going to sleep good this evening. And she's with um, lap staff Linnea. And we'll be going to see Dr. Ferguson sometime tomorrow. Dr. Ferguson received a video as well as some photos to give her a heads up. Which I will share with you guys. Um, you can see the cleft lip. From the outside it looks completely normal. Um, but uh, that sort of roof, the roof of baby girl's mouth, that triangle dark shape is um, her cleft lip. I guess it would be her cleft palate. So um, that's what we have noticed. And um, it's also why she was not latching and most likely why she was aspirating with the bottle. Um, I don't know what her outcome will be. She will have to be examined um, by Dr. Ferguson. I'm hoping, and now this is just me hoping, I'm not a veterinarian, I'm not a veterinary technician, but I'm hoping that if she stays being tube fed until she's on solid food, um, maybe her her cleft palate isn't as deep as it looks. Um, as she grows, maybe it will change. 
and uh, when she gets into solid food, it won't. Uh, she won't need to latch. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, based on the fact that I have no medical knowledge on the subject, and I'm not a veterinarian or a technician. <laughs> but um, that would probably be the best case scenario. Uh, so baby number two is being tube fed by Linnea tonight. And so Mama Kenya has her four little babies here to take care of. And uh, Mama Kenya's just having a potty break. Uh, with that being said, the kittens are all looking for sponsors. So if you guys are interested in sponsoring a kitten or Mama Kenya, uh, the cost is $200 and um, you'll be able to name a kitten and I will send additional photos and videos and um, it'll take care of their veterinary visits as well as their deworming, their vaccinations, their spay or their neuter. And uh, it would be very much appreciated. Kitten number three is currently being sponsored by Janet and Lisa. So I'm looking to have his siblings find sponsors as well. So, there we go. I have not sexed the kittens yet, so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm also going to weigh them and see how much they've gained. Oh, is that a good poo-poo? That was a stinky poo-poo. Um, if anybody's interested in sponsoring a kitten, they can go to lapsbc.ca slash donate and uh, they click lapse life and in the notes they just enter that they want to sponsor a kitten thank you so much Lisa and Janet for sponsoring kitten number three you guys are officially anti meowmies to Kenya's babies um, I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to weigh them in right now and determine who's a boy and who's a girl. Look at the little tail moving. Squee. <laughs> That's kitten number five. <laughs> the little tail moving. So cute. All right, so we will start with, let me just see here. I'm just gonna respond to a friend. All right, so kitten number one, is our little gray and white cow kitten. So cute. Little babies. Oh, sleepy little babies. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job. So last night, little baby weighed 118, and tonight is 140, and it's a little girl. It's a little girl baby. It's a little girl baby. I'm just putting it in my phone here. Baby number two weighed in at 106. And last night was 105 and that was after the tube feeding 
Baby number three. Baby number three. Where are you? Baby number three. There you are. Come here. Squee. Here's baby number three. It was being sponsored by Lisa and Janet. So cute. White little muzzle puffs. White little muzzle puffs. Yes, Mama Kenya is such a good mom. She didn't leave the nest for like, I would say 15 hours. Oh, wow. 152. 152 big ones. We'll have to figure out if you're a girl or a boy still. So last night, 136. Today, 152. Less than 24 hours since the last weigh-in. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Are you a girl or a boy? Oh, you're a boy. You're a boy. Oh, that's a boy. That's a boy. Do you have to go potty? You have to go potty? Yeah, Mama will help you. Mama will help you go potty. Mommy will help you. All right. Baby number four. Oh, squee. Oh, baby number four. <laughs> One twenty four. One twenty four. And what were you last night? One fourteen. So ten grams. Oh, you're a girl. You're a little girl. Oh, you're a cute little girl. You're a mama look-alike. <laughs> Who's left? Who's left? Oh, stinky babies. It's actually not the babies. Um, mama Kenya, before she came on camera, was... Uh, taking a poo-poo, and it's a very stinky poo-poo. Oh, pee-pee and your babies. Oh, you're such a good mama. This little one is our baby number five. So he's not quite black, has some stripes on his leg, or her leg, and a little bit of stripes on the back. Look at the precious little face. Look at the little face. Squee. Oh, are those little baby hisses? Are you being ferocious? Oh, you're so ferocious. You are so ferocious. <laughs> you are so ferocious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, you're big hisses. You're big hisses. You're so funny. All right. So kitten number five was 130 last night. 130, big ones. Oh, I guess I need to turn it on. Duh. 152, oh my. We have big babies. And it's a boy. It's a boy baby. Oh, hi, Julie. Yay. Thank you for coming back. I felt so awful. I feel so, so awful. I meant to block the person above you and I, um, 
the chat moved up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I ended the periscope and everything to get, uh, to fix it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel free to, um, respond back to your email to lapse if you actually sent one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so those are the babies. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I feel awful. The chatters all helped me figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could blame it on the big loser that started all of it. <laughs> um, all right, so her first kitten was at 8, what was it, 8.46 last night or 8.45? I think it was 8.46. And I can tell you that kitten number five. Thank you, Julie. Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Um, kitten number five. Where is it here? Do, do. Looking for a message that I sent to somebody. It has a timestamp on it. <laughs> um, it was at 12.13 a.m. So first baby, 8.46. Fifth baby, uh, 12.15 or 12.13. Mama Kenya is so sweet. I love her to pieces. Yes, all five kittens are here. Um, kitten number two is a girl and she has a cleft palate. Um, so I brought her to laps and Linnea has her for the night. She's going to go and see Dr. Ferguson tomorrow. And... Um, she did take to tube feeding successfully. So I don't want to say that sounds promising, but um, it is in the sense that it's much better that she did versus not. So um, she's going to be tube fed. And uh, we will find out tomorrow once she goes to see the doctor. They'll have a better prognosis. Um, I'm not a veterinarian. I'm not a technician. I'm hoping that one of the options will be to continue to tube feed her and see um, what things look like when it comes to introducing soft food. I'm not sure if that's a possibility because like I said, I'm not saying any of this based on a medical background. I'm just saying a lot based on maybe logic and hope. Um, but I think part of that will determine on how deep her palate is. Uh, I think Kenya is okay. She seems pretty content. Um, I, Shelly is aware I've been speaking with Shelly since, um, the moment I noticed baby number two's cleft palate 
and Shelly has been great with um, providing me some extra info to assist with my nerves and my panic. Because um, as most of you know, I have not yet had a litter without any complications. <laughs> so um, this is just another litter with complications. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah, tube feeding is for a little teeny tiny kitten. It almost looks like a cooked piece of spaghetti, except it's red in color. And of course it's a tube, but the thickness would be similar to a cooked piece of spaghetti or, um, even a dry piece of spaghetti, except wiggly, like it was cooked. And it just slides down the throat. Um, and then from there, there is um, sub-Q fluids injected as well as milk. Um, anything that sort of needs to get into their tummy. So um, she did it all on her own pretty much without any hesitation. Linnea did not need a third hand. And... Um, she drank, she gained two grams during her feeding. I think Linnea put in 10 mils in the syringe, but I wasn't paying too much attention because I was speaking to Linda and updating Linda about everything. And um, from there, we just kind of talked about things and came up with a plan for tomorrow so that I would kind of leave with something in place so I wasn't walking away totally lost <laughs> um so i'll be contacting linnea tomorrow morning right around 10 30 when she gets into work to ask her how baby was overnight because i'll be anxious to hear and um i'm hoping that we'll be able to get in to see dr ferguson tomorrow and um i can assist with driving her to her appointment I'd like to be there if I can, so um, I'm just kind of waiting for tomorrow to present itself to have a more clear idea of what's going on with baby two. So these kittens, um, baby number two, who's with Linnea right now, is 24 hours and 11 minutes old. <laughs> Kitten number one is, what, 24 hours and like 36 minutes old. <laughs> Too cute. And um, kitten three, I don't even remember the time for kitten three. Kitten four was around 11 something. Oh, tumble, <laughs> tumble. <laughs> well, that'll wake you up, won't it? Ah, 9.45. Thank you, Lisa. I knew you were making notes. You even asked me if I had my notepad out and my pen ready. I think I lied. Because <laughs> I don't have any of it. I just remember 8.46. <laughs> Oh, baby, baby, babies. Mama, mama, mamas. Hi, baby. How are you? How are you? Oh, mamas. Yeah. I'm going to change their bedding tonight so they can have some 
Nice, clean, fresh bedding. <laughs> are you pooped out or are you pooped out? You're pooped out. Oh, mama. See, she's so good. She's adjusting because baby number two was probably mewing throughout the day because uh, she's hungry and mom's trying to do whatever she can to accommodate so she was shifting around and getting her nipples out in the open to help baby too. Do you see her biscuits? Do you see mama's biscuits? Oh they're so cute. Look at those biscuits. You are so sweet mama. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. And so are your babies. So are all your babies. I'm wondering if kitten three, as it gets a little bit older, if it'll develop a little bit more of a, like a tabby coat. I'm not sure. Kind of like Kitten 5. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Mom. <laughs> My mom got to listen to me call and vent when I found out about Kitten 2. She got to hear me and my woes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was explaining to her how I just don't understand how all of my litters have difficulties. <laughs> I was having a moment. Oh, babies. Can I check your mouth? Can I check your mouth, little one? Let's see your mouth. Do you have a nice, strong mouth? Let's check your mouth. Oh, that's a good mouth. That's a good, strong kitty mouth. Very good and strong. How about you down here? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, are you latched? I'm sorry. You were latched. Open up, open up. Oh, that's a good strong mouth you have. That's a good strong mouthy. That's a good strong mouthy. So cute. Oh, 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 oh. Hee hee hee, look at those feet. <laughs> look at those little feet. Hey, mamas. Hi. Kitten number two is also a Kenya Minini. Oh, Kenya, you are so adorable. <laughs> I think I need to take a photo. No, you don't want your photo taken? Is that what your problem is? <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. Yeah, you're silly, Mama. You're so silly. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> You're silly.
Very cute, mamas. Thank you for letting me take your picture. <laughs> um, I think, oh, I don't know. On your apple, you hit the... I did take a photo and I took a video as well. All their mouths are good. We just had kitten two. Does anybody have any suggestions for a theme? I just sent the video to a few people. African. Contented. <laughs> Cute. Oh my. Oh, she, she changed her face, but it was just darling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much. You are too much. <laughs> You're cute. You are too cute. Babies, babies, babies. So I was thinking of the same thing to the point where I um, even Googled it. And I'm thinking that um, I'm gonna go with the Lion King. I think those names would be pretty adorable. Um, the Lion King is based in Kenya, so I think that it's appropriate. Hi, Mama. So, um, again, if anybody is interested in sponsoring a kitten, um, the cost for sponsoring is $200. And uh, some people pair up with other people, and it's kind of like a group sponsorship. And uh, you'd have the naming rights to the kitten. And I'll send additional photos and videos and lots of fun stuff of your babies, your foster babies or your sponsor babies. And uh, it takes care of all their spays and their neutering and their vaccinations, their deworming. So it's definitely a great thing to do. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Pumba. <laughs> That's his name. I was trying to think of them earlier. And um, all I could think of was Hakuna Matata. <laughs> I couldn't think of Pumba and Timon. Timon and Pumba. There used to be a cartoon show. It was awesome. <laughs> Are you being silly? Hey, Mama? Are you being silly? Yeah. You're sweet. Yeah. Oh, Mamas. Oh, Mama. Oh, yeah, Zazu the birdie. Cute. So yeah, um, I strongly encourage if you um, are financially able to do so to sponsor a Lion King kitten. It's tax deductible. If you live in Canada, you can write it off as a, do a taxable donation. Which is awesome. And if you live in the United States, um, I believe you would pay Canadian and it's less than that, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. You totally should. If they have any Lion King attire that they would like to send, we could dress them up and uh, put them on social media. That would be wonderful. Oh, look at your babies. There you go. Perfecto. If anybody wants to donate, you can contact LAPS via email, phone number, or just go to lapsbc.ca slash donate. Cute little babies. Look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, get that milk. Get that milk, number two. You're not number two. What are you? You're number five. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Look at number one, our little gray and white. Reminds me of Mr. Picasso. Mr. Picasso. You're funny. You're so funny. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are so cute. All right, everyone. I'm going to end the Periscope. I've had a very, very long and draining 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. And 48 sounds about right. Um, so I will update everybody tomorrow night. 8 o'clock kitten standard time. Perfect. 156 American. That's awesome. Fabulous. So yeah, please consider sponsoring... A Lion King kitten. They will be forever grateful and they'll send you lots of photos and videos of their adorableness as they grow up. And updates on baby number two, our little cleft palette girl, um, will be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock kitten standard time. 
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good night.